total energy consumption will double from now till 2050. The electrical consumption will double from now till 2030. The second thing which has changed a lot is the urgency about climate change on carbon dioxide reduction. And we know that if we want to preserve the climate, uh, we've got to divide by two the carbon dioxide emission in the next 40 years. So multiply by two in terms of consumption, divided by two in terms of carbon dioxide emission, that means we have to improve the energy intensity of everything we do by a factor of four. For everything we do, we have to consume one fourth of what we used to consume. That is tremendous. Now, it's possible because there are new technologies popping up. With technology, we can everywhere reach 30% to more than 50% energy savings, more or less 30% in existing buildings till 50 to 70% in new buildings. I believe that governments have a role in regulations, in standards, so that innovation in the field of efficiency, in the field of energy management, will develop. We had to establish together the standards of safety, the standards of reliability, the standards of efficiency, uh, which were needed. This is why we've always been very active on every part of IEC. The second thing is that we believe in a global world. We believe in, in an industry of the planet. And the IEC is the best place to be driving the standards for the future. I think we are at a turning point today. Either we keep on managing the energy equation as it has been managed in the past 30 years, and we are facing a big wall, a big deadlock, and there will be wars for energy, there will be a price of energy that will go up very fast, there will be carbon emissions that will hamper uh, the climate of the world, or we really prepare the planet for tomorrow. We develop renewable sources of energy, but more so, we learn to do more while using less of our planet. That means energy efficiency on energy saving.